What's up, Bio Penguins? Today we do 2017 number six. This was on biotechnology, specifically looking at jelly freezes. So they give us a little bit of background about a comet assay. They tell us it's a technique used to determine the amount of double strand breaks in DNA. The nucleus of the cell is placed in a microscope slide, coated with agarose aggregate gel. Electric current is applied to the gel that causes DNA to move. The DNA is stayed with a dye that, when viewed under the microscope, undamaged DNA, fully intact, is going to appear as a round shape, which would be the head. And fragments of DNA are going to extend from that as the tail. The length of the tail corresponds to the amount of damage in the DNA. So they ask us to explain the movement of those DNA fragments that we see in this comet assay. So we have to identify one property of the DNA and then provide reasoning to support how that contributed to the movement. So let's first think about DNA. DNA is made up of nitrogenous bases, a pentose sugar, specifically deoxyribose, and a phosphate group. Phosphates group are negatively charged. And so we're going to find that the DNA, since it has so many phosphates, is also negatively charged. And so that means it's going to move towards the positive pole or towards that positive end, as you see in our assay. So there's our point. DNA is negatively charged. Reasoning would be the DNA moves toward that positive or oppositely charged pole. In addition, we talked about that the head had undamaged DNA. Well, the tail was the damaged DNA that's theoretically been cut. Um, so because it broke, um, now these are shorter fragments. So it's going to be able to separate the fragment based on size. Um, so DNA can be different sizes and different size fragments are going to move at different rates. Um, just since we're speaking about this, longer fragments are going to travel a shorter distance and shorter fragments are going to travel a longer distance. So the student says that DNA is negative. Therefore, when applying an electric current, DNA will move towards a positive charge. Smaller pieces of DNA move through the aggregate shell more easily than larger pieces, which is why the smaller damaged fragments of DNA are drawn out more towards the positive charge, the tail. So they then move on and they say in different environment, cells are treated with a chemical mutagen that causes only nucleotide substitutions in DNA to predict the likely results of a comet assay for this treatment. So let's look back at the question for a second. It tells us that undamaged DNA is going to appear as a round shape or the head versus our fragments of damaged DNA is going to be the tail. And then we see that the length of that um, corresponds to the amount of damage. Well, if I had a nucleotide substitution, I'm just substituting one um, nitrogenous base for another nitrogenous base. OK, so you have different nucleotides in there. OK, um, and so that's going to cause the strand to no longer be shorter or break. Um, we're going to see that it's going to be the exact same size. So you could say that we have a head only or you could say a head with no tail. Um, if you were saying that the substitution reduced the amount of breaking, you could talk about that the tail would be shorter than one that had those double strand breaks. And so the student says all the DNA will remain in the head, um, the nucleus, because only nucleotide substitutions, there won't be any damaged fragments to travel outside of the tail. The nucleotide substitution will allow the DNA to remain intact, just mutated. So I hope that was helpful. Remember, AP Bio Pain was just success by all.